here, we're looking at some of the recurring problem applications that are nearly impossible to irrigate effectively using traditional irrigation technology. Take a look at this dual problem area. Ground level glass windows plus a low overhang. And here's a classic, car dealerships. How do you keep the spray off those shiny new paint jobs? Whether it's residential shrub bed areas next to the house, or commercial and municipal installations where you're working with narrow or awkward shapes and heavy public access. Overspray, blacktop degradation, and vandalism are all challenges that you've been forced to live with. Now here's an example of a project that demonstrates several of those challenges, but also the solution to the problems we've been looking at. At Chino Basin Water Conservation District, we're trying to educate people as far as water conservation in the garden, most of the irrigation system that we use is NetFM, the tech line. Um, it's a subterranean irrigation. We've probably got about five miles of it in our garden. They laid the lines out, and they laid it out in kind of like a radiator effect. And they put it down, uh, and then they put the dirt on top, and then they planted it. It's a very simple insulation. It's very easy to use. Uh, it doesn't take any requirements on, on, on maintenance. No matter what hydrozone, what type of climate that you have, this irrigation system works very effectively. What makes it possible for us to solve all these problems today is a subsurface drip irrigation system called TechLine. So what exactly is TechLine? TechLine is subsurface drip irrigation uniquely designed to be totally self-contained, self-cleaning, and self-regulating for precise uniform water distribution at the root zone. TechLine is manufactured and marketed by Netafem Irrigation, the world's largest manufacturer of drip irrigation systems. The heart of Netafem's extensive research and development and manufacturing concern is located in Israel, a nation legendary for its ability to create an agricultural oasis out of desert land through the skilled use of high-tech drip irrigation systems. Today, Netafem produces hundreds of millions of feet of dripper line and tens of millions of drip irrigation components a year. In the early 80s, after years of intensive research and testing, NetFM introduced a unique technological breakthrough that made subsurface drip irrigation a viable option for landscape applications, including turf areas, for the first time. This amazing innovation known as TechLine makes it possible to precisely regulate the flow of water from each self-contained dripper, resulting in even distribution to the entire root zone. Each TechLine dripper is a fully self-contained unit, molded to the interior wall of the dripper tubing, making it a strong, integral part of the tubing itself. The polyethylene tubing and dripper housing, as well as the rubber diaphragm, are made to withstand both chemicals and fertilizers. Here's how it works. During operation, water flows freely along the center of the tubing, with the velocity of the water washing any large particles and debris downstream. The tiny particles, small enough to enter the filter part of the dripper, pass through the labyrinth and create back pressure, pushing back the diaphragm and initiating the flush cycle. The diaphragm then flexes and any particles that have collected are washed out of the regulating chamber. After flushing, TechLine automatically resumes its regulating mode. This cycle continues as necessary throughout the time the system is in operation. Netafem's TechLine is the only dripper on the market today that self-cleans during operation. Designing with TechLine is easy. One thing that I like about the Netafem is that it's, you can fit it into areas that have radiuses or tighter areas. Um, by running just a single line down a tight area, you're still going to get the coverage that you require for the plants to grow properly. I'm really surprised how well the landscape has grown in the short amount of time that it's been here, approximately six to eight months. TechLine can be installed by trenching, by laying it out on a subgrade four inches lower than the finished grade and backfilling, by using a vibratory plow or insertion shank, or by using the metal TechLine soil staples to hold it in place on the surface and covering it with mulch. We found it to be very successful in turf areas. Uh, and in shrub, ap shrub ground cover applications. One of the advantages in using the Netafim product uh, is leaving the water under the ground rather than on top of our foliage, especially in areas in which uh, the water uh, would damage our foliage. We found that we can get very even distribution of water uh, and place water where we want it, 
whether we have a tree or a shrub line, a hedge line, uh, or in turf areas. It's basically a good water conserving medium to place the water where it needs to be. Once you see how beautifully healthy the plants stay, you'll realize there's much more happening than meets the eye. For example, after you install a tech line system and turn it on, this is what you'll see. It doesn't look like a lot of water is being applied, but let's see what's really happening. Here we're looking at a bird's eye view of a typical residential landscape with a tech line system installed below it. Now, as you saw earlier, if you turn the system on after installation, this is the kind of wetting pattern you might see on the surface. In fact, depending upon soil compaction, you might not see any wet areas above some of the drippers. But when you go from a bird's eye view to a worm's eye view, you see an entirely different story. As demonstrated here, the slow measured application of water from a tech line dripper creates a wetting pattern that expands upward and outward with the water being drawn, like a sponge, through even the most compact of soils. This water movement between soil particles is called capillary action and results in a wetting pattern throughout the network that overlaps as many as three or four drippers to fully cover the plant's root zone. So you see, what appears on top of the ground does not at all represent what's happening under the surface, where it really counts. Because of the even application of water, you can be confident that the entire zone will receive the right amount of water the plant needs to stay green and healthy. And the irrigation schedule is easily modified to germinate hydro seed, turf grass, or other seeded plantings. Even after a five-year test trial at CIT was concluded in 1994, the condition of the turf grass shown here in 1996 continues to be superb. The CIT trial proved the viability of subsurface irrigation for turf grass. Plus, these test trials were valuable in helping us determine the proper spacing recommendations. It's very easy to design. There's not many calculations involved. Most spray systems won't function to the level of degree um, of uniform distribution that you would get out of a tech line system. It is an ideal use of uh, irrigation in terms of that uniformity. Tech line is easy to design with and very simple to install. Techline, the irrigation problem solver.